Hello everybody. I hope you're well today. It's been a while since I put up a video. Thought I'd kind of update you on things. Uh, let you know that I'm still okay. Been uh, busy. I've been having to uh, commute about 50 miles a day to work for the last month. The job's done now, so I may have time to make some more videos. Uh, don't have much to talk about right now there's a lot going on and uh, I've got a few things I'm working on but uh, they'll come for later I just wanted to check in let you all know that I'm okay not to worry uh, been an interesting month and July was an interesting month um, Keep on keeping on, one day at a time, everybody. Uh, try not to let things get you down too much. I've been kind of in a slump lately. Uh, but then that's the roller coaster of depression, isn't it? Uh, but when I'm depressed, it's usually because there's something I'm having trouble accepting. And uh, there are a lot of things these days that are hard to accept, but I'll be okay. It's not my way or my will that matters. Um, things are going to be as they are, so uh, stick with it. things about the riots in London. Sad that. And, uh, it's not surprising though. Uh, seems to be you're going through some of the pains we had back in the 60s with the uh, racial inequalities and uh, such. And you get that many young people I have nothing to look forward to but uh, the same sorry state of conditions they currently live in. No hope for work and the like. They have nothing to lose and it's such a rampage. Though it's wrong to do, it is appealing to such who are uh, disenfranchised, you might say, um, treated as second-class citizens by society. They feel they have no recourse other than act out in such a violent way. And when it starts happening, they total mayhem, and they let themselves go with whatever it is they want to do. This is a result of the humanist teachings that were in England, I believe. Um, that, and uh, I had seen an article that uh, a lot of the rioters were uh, immigrants there because of uh, political asylum. Interesting that. So you leave a country because you might die there, so you come to another country which welcomes you, and then things don't go the way you want, so you riot. Is that being a good guest? Um, perhaps England wasn't a very good host, but I'm kind of thinking that part of it was planned for a long time, that uh, there's a movement in Islam to take over the world, and we all know about this. If you don't, then you're, you've been in the dark or in denial. And one of the ways in which they do that is to uh, infiltrate a population. And uh, I suspect that many of those coming from the Arab world aren't really for the freedoms they come to, but more for the jihad 
to bring Islam to Europe, to the West. They know they can't win through war or force of arms, and so they try to win uh, in another means, by population and politic, using our own freedoms against us, and the democratic way to change the votes in their favor. And when this doesn't seem to work for them, you know, the risk of violence. There's another possibility also that these uh, are caused by uh, the Illuminati, you might say, wanting to uh, make a stricter, more fascist government and uh, such actions as these will lead for most of the common people in the streets and in the cities and these shops to applaud actions which crack down harder on such activities which gives you more of a police state by the way we are quickly heading into despotism It won't be long. The only rights observed are the rights of the elite. The rest of us will only have the right to do as they say or die. And that um, that kind of irks me some. I bet you there's a lot of English shop owners and homeowners that wish they still had their firearms, couldn't defend themselves against uh, the mob. There are those that think this may happen in America soon too. Probably, probably will. If it does, then um, what I just said before this is most likely true, and it's a plot by the elite to incite such riots in order to um, crack down harder on us and take away more of our rights and freedoms. Oh well. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Your opinions are welcome. Have a good day, everybody. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you.